Happy to be joined in the media center by Julia Molinaro after an outstanding bogey-free round of 67 today. Julia, tell us about your round today. Well, I started very, very well. I went birdie the first three holes, and I had a par, and I managed to birdie my fifth hole. So that was really good that, you know, once you get three in a row, you think you're going to stop, but I got the fourth one. Um, and for, then I got good pars. I had good birdie opportunities coming in. I missed a few putts. I don't know if that's, you know, the fear of knowing that I'm finally up there or, or something, but it, I just kept on going, kept on hitting very good shots, gave myself birdie chances, but putt just didn't drop towards the end. But I'm very happy with the bogey free round. You have a pretty interesting backstory, being from Italy, growing up in Kenya, and making your way to the States. Can you kind of tell the media about your background in the game? Um, sure. I started playing when I was 12 back in Kenya. We had a golf course really close to home. Um, I played one year just with friends, nothing, didn't think anything of it. I actually really did not like the game. I thought it was a very boring game and I didn't enjoy it. I didn't see the, like, the, the greatness of like that this game can actually offer. But then when I was 13, I went to um, see one of the Italian coaches um, in the city where I live, close to Venice. And he thought I had potential, so he st we started practicing with him one summer, and then I got into the national team. I started traveling with the Italian national team. That's always an amazing support. Played all over Europe until I got recruited by Melissa Llewellyn at Arizona State University and had four amazing years there and learned probably the most I ever have. I think college is a great experience. And then I had one year on the Symmetra Tour, and now this is my rookie year on the LPGA. Talk about growing up in Kenya. What was that experience like? Well, I think I'm very, very lucky. It was amazing. I had a, f I don't know, like it's, I was in the nature the entire time. I'm a huge nature lover from like growing up in Kenya. I, you know, my parents gave me like, you know, video games and they only lasted three days because it was just not as nice as playing in the, in the nature I had. You know, I grew up right on the coast in the Indian Ocean, so I was in the ocean most of the time. On weekends, we would go to safaris, so I'd see all the animals you can possibly imagine. Very lucky. I mean, I would hope and I'd love for all my friends to possibly see it or anyone that can have a chance to go to Kenya it would be a once in a lifetime trip and I think whoever has the chance should take advantage, you know, should go and see that country. It's amazing.